Glory, child of God, I'm so happy once again to meet you. The Lord has a message for you. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, so let me read. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I separated and set you apart, consecrating you and appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Now, this is the life of the prophet Jeremiah, a man used of God in tremendous ways. Child of God, there is a lesson here that is, before you were born, God had you in mind and has orchestrated a certain situation, has formulated certain mechanisms to help your life, to help you succeed. Irrespective of when you were born, how you were born, who gave birth to you, you have to know you are not an accident. Jeremiah in his life, he was chosen and set aside as a prophet for the nations. Your story might be different. Maybe yours might be that you were chosen and set aside to become a medical doctor, an engineer, or a sports personality, or any, you know, anybody of relevance to humanity. Some, some of us, I believe, we would have wished that you know, where we were born and even our parents were exchanged. Some of us think that, you know, I wish that this man was my father or mother. That is because you don't understand life. You see, the circumstances of your life are a part of the whole programming. To bring you to a certain level where you can express your potentials for humanity. Even the season within which you were born were part of the program of God. To enable you, you know, manifest a certain level of the God kind. Now, did you know that there are some um, great people in society, like presidents, people who have prophet solutions for humanity, and great men like um, scientists and teachers, doctors, cleaners, or I mean, look, people who are doing great things in society today. A lot of them, their parents try to abort them because they call them accident children. Somehow, their parents think that they were not ready. And even there were those, excuse me to say this, who were raped. And the pregnancy came as a result of, you, you call it malicious and diabolic circumstances. But out of such great pain and upheaval of life, this man somehow rose up and became great in society. So you can see that some, you know, the lives of others in society have made nonsense of the circumstances of their birth. Great and rich people society today, if they tell you what they endured in school, you'll be amazed. Generational curses and generational blessings, are they real? I tell people, when people ask such questions, I know that they have not taken their time to really analyze these two issues very well. Because it's pretty simple. The school you attended in your primary school, who sent you there? It was your mother or your father, isn't it? Look, where you were born was a result of the location of your parents. So right from birth, your life is impacted by your parents. So it means that even at birth, your life was impacted by generational issues. Simple. Sometimes I wonder why we find it difficult to understand these things. It's because we have not analyzed it pretty well. The school you attended was a function of the ability, the financial ability of your parents. Even the types of clothes you wore when you were a kid, the shoes you wore, the friends you had, were all a function of location and also the ability of your parents. Because you, the kind of friends you had when you were growing up 
a lot of them were influenced by the schools you attended. Irrespective of all these advantages or disadvantages, as you call it. You see, you might call it a disadvantage or advantage based on the type of knowledge you have. Because, look, some people were born in a typical rural area. No money. And yet, they have risen to become great men in society. Proving that irrespective of the circumstances of your birth, who gave birth to you, where you were born, your life can still become great. Because look, everyone was created in the image and likeness of God. And the Spirit of God wants me to tell you. You see, God lives within you. Irrespective of the circumstances of our birth, we can rise up by the power and the strength of the God kind. God in us, Christ in us, the hope of glory. So they are great men who became presidents of nations. They ruled over the rich and over everyone, even though their parents even tried to abort them. A lot of them, you know, came from painful circumstances and yet they became great. You see, out of every pain, a solution. May God help us to rise up. May God help us, including myself and you, to rise up above our dire circumstances. If someone doesn't tell you their story, you will never know. If I don't tell you my story, you will never know. Never judge anyone. If You see, never judge. God doesn't want us to judge because you don't know what people have gone through in life. You don't know the fire that people have you know, passed through. If people don't tell you their story, don't just come up and conclude hastily. Because people who judge people are immature. You don't know the story of anyone. When you see someone enjoying today, don't begin to say things you don't understand. Because you don't know what they have gone through if they don't tell you their story. Jeremiah was known before he was born. You were known by God before you were born. Your parents were known by God. And God, you know, had everything as a frame. We must not give up. That is our responsibility. As long as we don't give up, as long as we hold on, God's program for, your, for our lives shall come to pass. Because we also have a role to play. Gold can never become good unless it goes through the fire. The circumstances of our birth, the location of our birth, the type of parents we were given by God. Because we had no control over who gave birth to us, where we were born, when we were born. And the schools we attended growing up, the kindergarten, the creche, the primary school, the JSS, we didn't have control because we had no ability to influence those things. That is where you have to seek God. Because God has a program and a script for us. It doesn't matter where we were born. It doesn't matter the circumstances of our birth. We can become exactly what God wants us to become. We must not give up. Cooperate with him and it shall be. Some were great. They were born by what you call blessed parents. But today, all the blessing is nowhere to be found. Others were able to maintain it. So the lives of people in society have shown that circumstances of our birth, you know, notwithstanding, we can still make it and become great. The hardness, what we call hardness or the disadvantages, or rather make us become the people he has designed us to be. Because if you are supposed to carry a certain load, you have to toughen your neck to a certain level. The training of a heavyweight boxer, you know, should have certain differences with a lightweight boxer. Because the, the heaviness of the blows are not the same. Some must learn how to hit very hard. Of course, they all have to hit very hard. But you see, some are faster than the other. Some throw the blows. It's as if it is slow. But when it gets you, you feel something. Some have to move very fast because of the lightness of their weight. 
child of God, yes, we are affected by generational issues, but they cannot limit us. What we need to do when you grow up and you become, you know, the son of God, you know who you are. You begin to ride your own horse. The servants will get down and the sons will begin to ride the horses.